Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to the vlog. It is Thursday. <laughs> it's um, 10 to 9. I'm going in later to work today, like I mentioned, so I'm just slowly starting my day. Got my breakfast drink going over here and gonna pack up my bag here soon. I was just going over my agenda to see all the fun things that I have to do today. Um, yeah, it should be. It should be a pretty straightforward and kind of chill day with just sewing things. Oh, and I should edit a vlog. I might actually transfer footage right now because that way I will have it. But yeah, I just want to start the day and um, say good morning uh, before I like roll over into getting dressed and all that fun stuff. Alrighty, I'm home from work now. It is like quarter to three. I'm gonna change quickly and then my mom and I have some errands to run. We gotta get something for dinner because <laughs> we keep having like steak and fries, like steak cut fries and steak, steak, oh, so good. Whenever her boyfriend is working because we're like, oh, what should we do for dinner? Hey, let's do this. So she's like, we should be nice and cook it while he's here because he's been getting leftovers over the steak, but it's just not the same. But that's the plan. Also, the extra storage containers that I have for my scrunchies. I'll show you. These guys, these double deckers here, I ordered four of them and they tried to deliver them the other day, but I wasn't here. So we're gonna go pick those up, which will be super exciting. At some point today, I should fold my laundry and also get rid of all these <laughs> jars that are up here. It's just, it's it's gone, it's gone to crap lately. Also, my face is like, my lips are so gross and like, I don't know if it's a cold sore or not because like, it's just not concentrated. It feels like, you know, when you, just like get really chapped lips. So anyways, I'm gonna get some cold sore medicine while I'm out and see if it fixes it. In any case, I get to wear a mask, which is great because no one's gonna see my gross face. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna change here and then we'll probably head out and then we'll be back later and we get to organize scrunchies and all that fun stuff. It hurts, it hurts. Alrighty, so it is official, we got grounded. <laughs> NBC for the next two weeks till December 7th. Not allowed to go anywhere and do anything <laughs> unless people are in your household. And um, all community and live events, even if they're under 50 people are canceled. <laughs> and in March when this happened, this is exactly the type of weekend it happened on. We were sold out back to back to back shows and COVID, goodbye. <laughs> And now we had a show tonight, which was supposed to be a hybrid. I got switched to live stream. And then we had two shows tomorrow night, which were both hybrid. And then hybrid the next day and hybrid the day after, I think. And um, now they're just all going to be live streams. So <sighs> fun times. Love working in <laughs> live theater in these times, but it's fine. Anyway, I am home now, obviously. My mom and I like... Errands took so long to run today, it felt like. Um, picked up my mail, which is this giant box here, so I will get to that shortly. And then picked up some Easy Mac. <laughs> I also found this really cute pajama onesie, oh, if I can get it out of here. And this is it here, <laughs> super cute. Um, and it just says sweet dreams on it. You cannot see that because my arm is in the way. I'm trying, yeah, there we go. And it's got this cute little like button at the back, keyhole. And then I also picked myself up a Philips Sonicare toothbrush because I've been wanting to get um, an electric toothbrush for a while, but I was being very lazy about taking the plunge. <laughs> and then the one that I was looking at, I was like, oh, this is a $300 toothbrush. That's definitely the one I want. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe just start fresh. So. Got that, which is exciting. I was gonna get this other one because it was on sale for like 35 bucks, but this one was 50 and it seems like it's much better. So that's cool. So that's what I did. I got a bit of a mess <laughs> going on here, as you can tell. I think I'm so conflicted. Like I think I should probably deal with the scrunchies, but that's just gonna make a bigger mess in here. So maybe I should just sew, I don't know. Anyways, <sighs> that's that's the update. We're grounded and um, Everything's a mess. <laughs> Hello, hey there. It's been a while. Um, it's currently 10.30 and 
And honestly, I feel like I haven't done much. I know like running errands took longer than anticipated today and then I was only up here for a bit. I flipped some of these and then I cooked dinner and then I came back up and I flipped the rest of them. So I've just got stacks on stacks on stacks there. And then I also ironed and pinned and put, well, I'll put the elastic in and pinned all these scrunchies here. There's like 25, I think. So honestly, everything that I was working on is either done or in the just doing the last sewing steps. So I mean, like, that's good. Theoretically, I can finish everything by the end of this week. I don't know if it'll happen, but it is, an, it is a possibility. So that is very exciting. Other than that, I never bothered making my bed today. I put my clean clothes back in the hamper and I just have a pile of a couple dirty clothes elsewhere. And then I just have this stack of these organizers here. Yeah, eventually, hopefully, Maybe Saturday I will put all the scrunchies in them and then I'm not really sure what my storage situation is going to be for them. Like maybe once, because scrunchies are all in here in these bins. So maybe, so maybe I could move those bins into this cube unit and then these could just stack on top or something. I don't know. I will figure it out. That is what matters. But I think I'm going to go to sleep now. So with that, I'm going to say thanks for coming along today. I think I'm probably just going to combine the vlogs into two days because I don't think I've really done much today so I'll see you in like two seconds. Good morning super cool party people and welcome back to the vlog. I am back in the theater because despite the fact that we have all been grounded and we can't do anything we did still have a live stream show last night and we do have a live stream show tonight and a live stream show tomorrow and I believe the next day as well. I think they're one of those days we actually have recording and a live stream event. So at least the nice thing is, is we're not completely shut down. Who knows, things might change, but you're like still allowed to go to work and technically we're going to work and artists are going to work. So fingers crossed, we're good and we stay open, but it's nice because I've only lost one shift because of this, so thus far we're <laughs> last time it was like lol do you have a job <laughs> which again if you look back at my march vlogs we were really lucky and that our board was like just work <laughs> we know you were supposed to work just work and so that was great i did a lot of painting it should be interesting today's gonna be a fun day for the box office folk because they have to call everybody at least it's only we had like two i think they were both sold out shows tonight which was 100 people total because two groups of 50. So they have to call all of them and be like, hey, here's a live stream ticket. Hopefully they want it. <laughs> and what would you like to do with the rest of the money? So like my mom and her boyfriend were supposed to go tonight. So hopefully I can get that sorted before the box office opens. So then it'll be like one less stressor. But yeah, that's where we're at. It's fine. In other news, I slept terribly last night. I could not get to sleep. I could not get to sleep, could not get to sleep. When I finally did, it was like 1, 1.30, and then I woke up at 2.30, and I had had some weird dreams, and then I couldn't get back to sleep again. I think part of it was like, I think the neighbors were like rearranging furniture. I know it sounds like it was not what you think it was. I think they were just moving furniture or packing, or I don't know what they were doing. They yell a lot sometimes. They hit the walls sometimes. They seem to have a very, um, I don't want to say unhealthy, relationship but a very um topsy-turvy relationship anyway so that was great and then when i did finally get back to sleep again i had crazy weird dreams i can't remember them now but they were weird anyway unimportant <laughs> except i'm tired so i might nap later but i'm gonna have a breakfast drink now and get to work and just kind of see where the day takes us because i'm sure there'll be many more surprises coming up hello <laughs> it's me i'm back am i wearing my mask even though i'm inside the car because my face is broken out i am it's I don't, I still don't know, honestly. I don't know if this is face herpes, I eat cold sore, or if it's just cracked lips. I cannot tell. And so I'm just putting the cold sore, cold sore material, material, medicine on it and hoping for the best. Anyways, we, well, my mom and her boyfriend went shopping and got some toilet paper because we were out. My boss brought me a hot chocolate, which as you can see is made with extra misery because he always says no love because I don't like um, whipping cream, except it had whipping cream, which is funny. Um, I went to Fabricland because they had a sale and I got an email and currently we were just at the dollar store, but I didn't find anything I wanted. So I just 
peaced out and got into the car. I'll see if I get, I'll show you the patterns that I got. So this was on sale for eight bucks and it's got like three cute dress patterns. This one, it's pajamas. That looks so cozy and so comfy. It's like a tie front shirt slash robe and pants. I don't think I have enough material to make that. And then I got this other dress one too. So yeah, very exciting things. Gonna go home now. I also got some terry cloth because that too was on sale, but they're almost out of the one I like can get. Um, so I got what was left and then I got some cotton batting here as well. And um, that's for the pot holders that I wanna make because I need the thermal lining and also like a cotton batting is what I learned. So I can actually, I now have everything and I picked up a thicker bias tape because the one that I got was not thick enough. And so I can actually technically probably make some pot holders at some point here. And then I also got a couple random fat quarters. I got this one, which I love. I need to make myself a mask out of this. And there's, there, there's two more in there, but I can't find them. But that's what I've been up to. We're gonna head home now, I think. And then I will maybe show you those other two pieces of fabric if I can find them. And then just gotta sew some scrunchies today because um, my boss was like, hey, is the order done? And I'm like, it pretty much is. You can pick it up tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, we'll see how the day goes, but. Overall, productive. Hello. <laughs> I currently feel like a frump and I'm certainly looking like a frump. I've got my oversized sweater on and I've got my Christmas pajama pants on. Wow, that was hard. And I'm just like totally unmotivated. I had lunch and then for probably about an hour, I just laid in my bed doing very little. Although <laughs> I did find a good video tutorial for making pot holders, which is probably not happening this week, but it is on the list of something that I want to do. I have fabric that I specifically bought and I was like, this will look amazing as pot holders. <laughs> I've made a couple masks out of it, but that's where we're at currently. Oh wait, before I do anything, this is one of the other fabrics I got. <laughs> and then I got this one too. I just think it's so adorable, maybe for scrunchies, maybe for a mask, I don't know. Um, my mom really wanted this one, so I'll be making her a mask out of that once I wash it. But currently, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stack. I have four of these, which are empty. They're the Sterilite Stack and Carry. Uh, I think they have a number on them. I don't remember what the number is. It's like 14, 20, 14 to 14,200, something like that. Anyways. <laughs> unimportant so I have that I have all these scrunchies and a few more and I'm going to organize them so they look like this which is just beautiful this is so great it, it's perfect so <laughs> just everything is a mess right now so I will adjust the camera angle I'm probably gonna listen to a podcast lately I have been listening to I literally just discovered their podcast stories from flying the nest they have a YouTube channel called flying the nest and they used to travel but <laughs> lol 2020 um and so they started a podcast it's actually really I've really been enjoying it I'm on the fourth episode currently it's a bi monthly is that right twice or is it bi-weekly it's every two weeks um so yeah Anyways, I'll probably plug into either that or a video and start organizing. And with that, all the scrunchies are organized, which is very exciting. I, I'm i cool with them all being stacked up there. It does not look cute, but I think that's good storage. I just need to figure out a place to put that other tote of fabric that is up there. So we'll figure that out. I managed to get one into here, and I'm sure if I try, I can clear up space to get another one in there. So that is where we're at, feeling all right. It's something I can cross off the list from yesterday and probably the day before that I didn't do, although technically it wasn't my agenda for today because I didn't think I would get them until today. Rambling as we are. Anyway, I think what I'm gonna do now is I definitely need to sew the scrunchies over here. Predominantly, I need to sew one of these because uh, my boss, somebody from Blind Channel is gonna be in town tomorrow to pick up an order, which includes one of those. But I did set up the thread 
to do this particular cotton pad. I have five sets of these, so five times seven is 35 of these to do, so that's super great. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna try to do those now um, real quickly. And then depending on how I feel at that point, if I'm still okay doing cotton pads, I might continue doing cotton pads or I might switch to the scrunchies for a while. The biggest thing, and it's just me being purely lazy, I don't wanna switch out the bobbin and the bobbin is white thread and it does not match the scrunchies, but we'll see. Also, I feel like this incredible need to drink a lot of water. So I should probably do that. Oh, I got my water, my water bottle made it to there. You can't see it, but it was on the bookshelf. So it got a little bit closer. So you drink a lot of water, watch some random stuff on the computer and so, so, so. Alrighty, so all five sets of this pattern are done and stacked there and it's actually perfect timing because my bobbin here that had the white on it ran out so now I can switch the scrunchies without not wanting to switch this. Which is totally sad that that was how I was <laughs> justifying not doing the scrunchies of which I need. I actually remembered um, I have to send one out for my breakfast buddy too, so I actually need to do one of the other ones too, but I'll just do them all after dinner here. It's currently 5.30. I have like three minutes left on my show, so I'm going to finish watching that, and then I'm going to go downstairs and cook myself some food. And then tonight, my mom and her boyfriend were supposed to go to a show at the theater, but it's cancelled. <laughs> because we're grounded, so it's a live stream only. So I gotta make sure that they're all good to go and set up. Um, the stream opens at 6.45 uh, for the seven o'clock start of the show. So uh, I wanna make sure that they're all good to go, uh, but eat food first, I suppose. The fluff that builds up in here, like, it's ridiculous. Like, that's so much. And that's just from like one little swipe of that, so. Every once in a while, oops, well that's inside now. <laughs> when I'm working with the terry cloth especially, it gets really built up in here and then the bobbin um, cartridge caddy thing, this thing here, it does not sit properly and then it makes weird noises and then I'm afraid that I'm gonna break my machine, which would not be good considering I just got a brand new machine, so. Sometimes we just gotta clean it. This was probably the worst that I've seen it because normally I'm a little bit better at getting on top of it, but hey, you know, we're all lazy people, basically, is <laughs> where we're at. But now we'll just put everything back together. I always hate putting this piece back on because it never wants to go on perfectly. It just hates me a little. Come on, my friend. Also doesn't help that I have a camera in the way. <laughs> there we go. We'll put the bobbin back in. It's not normally as hard, I promise. It's the camera. <laughs> that did not do it. Uh, wait, I think we can still get it. We can salvage. There we go. That was honestly quite painful doing that with the camera right where my arm usually goes. Anyways, it is currently a time about 9.30. I have been sewing. I finished all the scrunchies and I trimmed all the threads. So that is exciting. And I'm working on these Winnie the Pooh Tigger, etc. Reusable pads right now. I think I have one more to go for that set. And then I have another bunch here. But like I said, I just couldn't deal with the <laughs> really terrible noises that the machine was making. So I had to clean it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish all eight of these here. And then I'll only have three sets left. So 20 more pads to do. But I think I'm going to do those tomorrow uh, because I have to pack up the order for tomorrow, assuming somebody's gonna come pick it up from me at work. So that is cool. And also like cleaning off my bed would probably be a good start before I climb into it. <laughs> it's like, I said that sentence like really wrong, really awkwardly. Um, also, I didn't sleep the greatest last night as I mentioned. And so I kind of want to go to sleep here early. So I think as soon as I'm done this, I'm gonna 
get the scrunchies sorted and get them packed and then we'll be good to go. Yeah. Alrighty, it is time to fill up my water bottle from my ridiculously tiny pitcher. It's ridiculous how small it is, guys. It fills the water bottle about twice if it's fully full. Yeah, that's good enough. And with that, it's gonna be the end of the night for me. It is just after 11.30, I do have to work tomorrow. But I got quite a bit done today, so that is okay in my book. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on the last two days worth of Not Really Adventures Adventures, and I will see you tomorrow. We do very similar things. Good night.